Vad som helst, där det är så lite ljud som... Where are we going to talk? Yeah. Hello, right in here? Right in here. Okay, I think it will be okay. Thank you. Raymond, yeah. any chance for another cappuccino? Okay. Yeah. I'll kick it. I'll go okay. and get it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Raymond. <laughs> Do you have a, a different personalities connected to different names? I know you like Sally and Bob and Henry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a name is very important. I don't know 100% how it works, but if you did change your name, uh, I think you change your life in some ways, maybe profound ways. There's a lot in a name. People are given a name and they, those names um, define a way of being, I believe. If I don't know which comes first, the way of being and then they get the name, or the name and then the way of being. But a name is very important. And I would say Sally will do certain things that Rebecca would not do, and vice versa. There's so much in a name. For example, would you connect my name, Henry? It's like Henry. Henry is an interesting name. Uh, Henry is a thinker. Henry is not um, a macho name, like Buck. Uh, even Billy is more macho than Henry. Henry is more of an intellectual, a thinker. Henry is wondering about things. Henry is very observant. Henry understands fear and uh, caution. And uh, but is is a a, a good soul, a, a good soul, but always on the lookout for the mysteries, the answers to the mysteries. A graphic novel. Do you have a favorite graphic novel? No, I'm not really into graphic novels. Oh. I appreciate them, but I, it's not my thing. But what about books? Books, I'm not a big reader. I like to read, but I don't have time to read, so um, uh, I'm not a, big, not a big reader. What comes to mind when I say, uh, what pictures come to mind when I say this mortal coil? This Mortal Coil, a uh, song to the siren, is a song in Lost Highway, but a song I wanted for Blue Velvet, but couldn't get. So it's a very, very beautiful, fantastic song that um, moves me. Is it your favorite album? No, there is no favorite album. I love all different kinds of music. and. Um, music is very, very powerful, and I get a lot of ideas from listening to music. If you had all the right tools and all the money, what would you build? If I had all the right tools and the money? You're talking about that sometimes. I would build um, a big, 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 big studio, um, a, a sound stage. I would have a huge workshop. I'd have a place for plaster, for clay, for rubber, for metal, for wood. I'd have a place for photography. I'd have a place for music. I'd have a place for editing and film. I'd have um, a big painting studio. I'd have places to write, computer rooms, big, big, big memory, all the latest programs. Uh, so that any idea that came, I'd have a way, um, a state-of-the-art way to realize it. What inspi inspires you creatively today? What inspires me? Yes. Ideas. And they always inspire me. And as I say always, nobody does anything without first getting an idea. Even if it's, uh, let's leave this room and walk down the hall. First comes the thought and everything else follows. Ideas or thoughts. Many, 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 many thoughts come. Once in a while a new thought comes that's very thrilling and a thing comes from that that could be for cinema or painting or music or whatever. For business, for any walk of life, ideas come.
Some people also would like to know, uh, would you return to making films again? Yes, I will return to making films again. Right now I'm working on a documentary on Maharishi Mahesh Yogi. And um, this is a way, 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 way too big a subject for one film. So it may just be the beginning days of Maharishi going out into the world uh, teaching this uh, transcendental meditation. This seems to be the end of the kind of films you've been doing before uh -huh. uh, while you're making the David Lynch Foundation uh -huh. and this documentary and uh -huh. stuff. No, I don't know what exactly will happen, but um, for me, um, I would think I would keep on making films. The people in Sweden would like to know, uh, do you have a relation to Sweden? Um, on my mother's side, um, uh, the name uh, was Sundholm, and that's a Swedish name, although they, I think, migrated from Sweden to Finland. So I, th I guess my great-grandfather, I uh, believe, came from Finland with a Swedish name, Sundholm. I would like to show you just a picture. This is uh, something I did last year, a DVD I released. This is the picture of the city of Malmo. This is called <laughs> the Rabbit Whore and other childhood memories from Malmo. And the city of Malmo is uh, like the f Swedish Philadelphia. <laughs> so you can imagine what's going on. Mm -hmm. So it's a very inspiring city. So and where is this city in Sweden? It's in the south of Sweden, very close to Copenhagen, just across the sea mm -hmm. to Copenhagen. It's a, it's a seaport. Yes, and it's kind of New York feeling because it's a lot of artists in there, but also they have a lot of problems. Yes. Fantastic. Good. I hope you got some good. Good, good luck, luck to you, pal. Bye bye. Take care. Yeah.